Yeah, well, David, many pilots who navigate those ships are uh, spend decades doing it along the Columbia River. And before they do that, many are also spending a decade as a tugboat operator before undergoing that two and a half year training. Still, after this tragedy that we saw in Maryland yesterday, many are looking to see what can be done better. A day after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed in Baltimore, Realized the entire bridge, the entire key bridge in the harbor. After being hit by a container ship, six people are presumed dead. I was heartsick at first. I mean, it's a terrible catastrophe. And in Portland, Jeremy Nielsen, the president of Columbia River Pilots, says this tragedy hits hard for many. Um, anytime in the maritime, a catastrophe like this happens in the maritime industry, um, it hits very close to home because that's what we do. Though it's too early to know what went wrong. Because it's a, a recent incident, an ongoing investigation, um, and I wasn't there, I really can't comment on it. Still, it's not too early to look at the Columbia River system, a notoriously difficult river to navigate. What is that next step for you all? Do you then look at that and see what happened and ensure that that doesn't happen again? We've already worked with local entities, including the Coast Guard, uh, the Columbia River Steamship Operators, and supports. And this morning, I was on the meeting with them. And after the meeting, Nielsen says adjustments may soon be made, like adding sensors to boats passing underneath a lower bridge in Longview to ensure there's enough room to pass in low and high waters. Currently, ships use estimated data. The water levels can change quickly. Uh, navigating on the Columbia and the Willamette River system is very challenging. And that change is on top of years of training for 46 pilots who navigate around $50 billion worth of cargo each year along the Columbia. And if there are concerns on the river, Nielsen says pilots communicate with bridge operators. Tugboat crews and the Coast Guard are available to help too, all in an effort to ensure something like this never happens again. Safety is our goal on this river, to never have an incident like that. And Nielsen says even though these are people who have been doing this for decades, for most of them, they're always continuing with training. One of the things they look at, if a turn doesn't go exactly right when they're going underneath the bridge, they go back after and look back at that turn and see what could have been done differently, what could have been done better. David? Yeah, learning every step of the way here. Thank you, Thomas.